Good morning, developers. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to run Create React app using HTTPS. Occasionally, you might be in a situation where your local has to, to, to load up a secure connection, and it, it doesn't have to be production level, but I had an API that wouldn't serve up anything that wasn't uh, on HTTPS, and so the, the process is really simple, pretty straightforward, but if you don't know how to do it, <laughs> obviously it's, it's pretty much impossible. So the first thing I'm going to do is kick off NPX Create React app, and I'm going to call mine HTTPS test. You can obviously call yours whatever you want. If you have some other way of doing create react app, that is just fine. But I'm going to get that started because it takes forever. We're going to come over here to NPM and take a look at the MK cert module. Uh, it has quite a bit of usage. You can see 32,000 downloads last week. Um, what does it do? Well, it creates self-signed TLS certificates without open SSL. If you do a little bit of research or just Google uh, Google the topic a couple times, this is the main thing that people will suggest using. And it's great, it's industry standard, but you, you don't need that, and you may not have it. You might be in a Windows machine, you might, you might have out-of-date uh, versions of a variety of things. You're already using Node.js because you're using Create React App, so we have something that's, that's a lot simpler, I think, that can do the, can do the trick for your local. So, the first thing is you need to install this globally, or if you want, you can install it just locally, but mine is installed globally, so you'll see me run it that way. It does two things. There is a create-ca command, and that will create the certificate authority. With the certificate authority, you can run create-cert. They have to be run in that order because create-cert uses the, the certificate authority, and this will kick out the, the keys that you are used to seeing. So if we come back over, Create React App has finished, and I will go into our folder, and I'm going to make a new directory called certs, and I'm going to go down into that folder. And like I said, I've already got this module installed globally. The first thing we run is make cert create-ca, and you can see it kicks off two new files. It creates uh, ca.key and ca.crt. Once we've done that, I'm going to run create cert again, but this time I'm going to call create cert. It will use those two files it just created in order to create two new files, cert.key and cert.crt. So I have opened up the code base in Visual Studio Code, and I'm going to open up the certs folder, and I'm going to show them to you. Don't worry, uh, these, full, these files will be deleted as soon as I, I shut this down. But you can see, uh, this one is the certificate authority. This is part of the private key. This is the other side, and then this is the other part of the, the certificate. Thanks for trying to be helpful, Visual Studio. Uh, what we need to do is go down to package.json. And if you go to the scripts uh, property, so scrolling down here, start, this is what happens when you run npm start. This command is what actually runs. Well, we're going to leave that, but we're going to put something in front of it. We're going to do https equals true, and then ssl underscore crt underscore file equals, and then the location, which is going to be dot slash certs slash crt dot crt i'm sorry cert dot crt okay so this is the the location of the ssl crt file and then we're going to do space ssl underscore key underscore file equals dot slash so again the location which will be certs slash cert dot key okay let me get rid of the file structure there this is the whole thing it's all in quotes https equals true the SSL uh, cert file, and then we, we give it the location, and then SSL key file, and give it the location. And then this part is exactly what it already was. Okay, so I'm going to save that, hop back over to the terminal, and run npm start. And I'm going to pause it because this always happens so fast, but there you can see the command we just put into our package.json. That's what we, we effectively ran with npm start. If I come over to the browser now, it should say your connection is not private because the certificate authority is not valid. We just made up our own, so this is to be expected. If you click on Advanced and Proceed, you'll see up at the top here, it shows HTTPS even though it's not secure, and if you click on that, it'll say, hey, the certificate's not valid. Well, again, <laughs> we created the certificate, so that's okay, but this will be enough for whatever APIs, if you're loading up on your phone or something like that, to, to be able to, to use HTTPS, okay? So again, the process is pretty simple. You can use the make cert module, call create-ca, call create cert. That will create these four files. 
you go to your package.json, and then you load up this line, which will, will tell the HTTPS equals true. It will tell, tell it where those files are at, and then this part is what you are used to having. Okay, good luck. Go write some awesome code. Have a great one.